Hi, I'm Lexi Dawson here with Dustin Funk. This week includes teacher appreciation, a special athlete profile, and more on this classy episode of SHS Today. Next September, as part of an independent study, our own Lindsay Zinbark is producing the play The Diary of Anne Frank. Auditions will be held Tuesday, May 21st and Wednesday, May 22nd in the SHS Black Box Theater from 3 to 5 p.m. If you want information or have any questions, please email Lindsay Zinbark at lindsay.zinbark at gmail.com. For any middle school and high school students, there will be an Ultimate Frisbee Tournament on May 25th at 10 a.m. on the Heritage Soccer Field. It costs $20 for your team, which needs to be 5 to 10 people, or it is free if you are participating in the 24-hour relay. See Mr. Dice for registration forms. Some people who are often overlooked are the teachers of our school. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week, and Adam went out to see what amazing things the Saline High School teachers do for us. According to the U.S. Department of Education, Saline is ranked number 9 among Michigan high schools and among the top 500 out of over 37,000 high schools in the country. What makes Celine so great? One big factor is the teachers who work to make this school one of the best. This week was Teacher Appreciation Week, so we went to ask some students what they liked about their teachers. I guess the main thing that I think uh, makes our teachers are so special is that they are just really approachable. They're, every teacher I've ever had is like, I can go up and ask questions, and they're, they're so willing to work with you and to go over, go over your questions with you. What I like about the teachers of Saline High School are they're always very prepared for their class. They always have relevant subject matter to be teaching the students. They're always willing to lend a hand to help out students that are struggling by either staying before or after school. And they're just generally really nice people and they're always willing to go the extra mile to help out students. Now we went out to interview Mrs. Helper to get her thoughts on our teachers. One of the things that makes me most proud about being the principal of this high school is being able to work with the teachers. They're very serious about what they do. Um, I see a lot of caring attitudes, um, the, the interactions that the teachers have with the students are positive. And it's just walking along the hall or being in the classrooms and watching the interactions they have with students um, is really what impresses me most. They, this is a very busy time of the year and they continue to work hard for, for all of you, the students, and um, that makes me very proud. Throughout the week, the teachers receive snacks and gifts to brighten their day, provided by the PTO, Student Council, and the administration. I'm Adam Devling, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Adam. Teachers don't always get the recognition for all that they do. From the crew here at SHS Today, we'd like to thank the teachers for all their hard work and dedication. Next Wednesday on May 15th, Senior Grammy Night is being held in the SHS Auditorium at 7 p.m. This is the event where seniors will be recognized for their accomplishments made throughout the year. If you are a senior and have any photos you would like to submit for the slideshow, email them to SeniorGrammyNight at gmail.com. Come support and honor your graduating seniors as we recognize all the achievements of the Class of 2013. Some people that may be recognized at Senior Grammy Night may be the members of our SHS sports teams. Which brings us to sports and weather. Let's see what David has for us today. What's up, Celine? I'm David Webbin here to bring you this week's sports and weekend weather. We start off with the boys' golf team as they played at the onset invite on Tuesday. The Hornets placed first overall and had a great performance. The leaders for the team were Caleb Wittig with a score of 74 and Ryan Peruski and Matt Durella had the score of 76. The next outing for the Hornets is at Tecumseh on Monday. The ladies soccer team went up against Skyline at home on Monday. The Hornets came out with a almost came out with a victory but Skyline had other plans as they scored with five minutes left. The game ended in a tie with a score of 1-1 and the score for the Hornets was Caitlin Ellis. The next game for the ladies is Saturday at home against Northville. 
Mile after mile, two of our Hornet runners have achieved a milestone in their running career, 5,000 miles. And you got the opportunity to interview these dedicated runners. Recently, two seniors hit the notorious 5,000 mile mark for track and cross country. I got the chance to sit down with Alyssa Cummings and Kelly Hall. Uh, freshman year, I, uh, two seniors got the 5,000 miles and um, I knew that I wanted to as well. So it was awesome and I was just super excited and it was the best feeling ever and I just was really happy that I hit my goal. Kelly gave us an insight to how she started her running career. Well, so I started running freshman year and I like totally hate, like did not think I was going to like running. I've never liked like sweating or physical activity, <laughs> but um, it just the cross country program is really incredible and I sort of, I fell in love with running and um, I've pretty much run every day since. We also got a chance to talk with coach Mike Smith about this outstanding accomplishment for these girls. Just their long-term dedication to our program and to distance running. Uh, we have very few people who attain 5,000 miles, and when they do, that means they obviously average over 1,000 miles since the beginning of their freshman year. So for someone to do that, it's not just a one-month or a one-year commitment. It's a month-after-month, four-year commitment that they were willing to make. They are great students. They are great leaders. They kind of epitomize what we try to work toward here, which is to, as I said, to, to be a leader and to use the abilities that they have to their utmost, and both of them do a terrific job in that manner. Make sure to congratulate these two seniors on accomplishing something only done twice before here at Celine. I'm Nia Roan, back to you in the studio. Now for your weekend weather. The weekend starts off with cloudy skies and a chance for rain as Friday will be a high of 63 and a low of 45. Saturday will be a little bit warmer as the high will be 65 and a low of 39. Mother's Day is going to be a little cold with partly cloudy skies and a high of 51 and a low of 35. That's going to wrap it up for this week's Sports and Weather. I'm David Webbin. Back to you guys at the News Desk. Thanks, David. Well, that's all the time that we have for this week's show. I'm Lexi Dawson. And I'm Dustin Funk. Stay classy, Celine.